David, what can a loss like this, uh, I guess, how can a loss like this uh, help you guys throughout the rest of the year? Uh, I feel like we can learn from it. Uh, we can look back at some things we can do better. Um, I'm just glad it's early in the year and we can learn from it. It's not, uh, we're not in March yet. Doug, you started today and started off pretty well. Uh, what went right in those first few minutes of the game? Uh, I mean, I was ready since yesterday. You know, I kind of knew I was going to start and that really didn't matter, but I just knew that I had to set the tone and, you know, I tried to make my presence felt early and so the guys could feed off of it. And I feel like we did a good job of that. We just didn't keep it going. A question for both of you. Uh, obviously, the offense stagnated throughout the second half and late into the first half as well. What was sort of the biggest reason for those struggles on offense? Say it again. What were sort of the biggest struggles for the offense tonight? Uh, me personally, I feel like we weren't, we didn't stay committed to the plays. You know, uh, we let them speed us up a little bit and broke off the plays sometimes. Instead of just running our stuff, you know, we run it every day, 100 times a day, just being committed. And, you know, even though they know our plays, nobody can run it better than us. So we just got to run our stuff. That's it for me. I don't think we was taking terrible shots. Uh, we was just missing. I do feel like we was letting uh, our defense impact our offense a little bit. Uh, where we let our heads hang a little bit. But, yeah, besides that, I got to go back and look at it and see what happened. Doug, kind of the result aside, do you feel like you playing this way, this can kind of propel you on and, and kind of getting into a, a groove offensively? Uh, you know, I, I just try to do what's best for the team, to be honest. You know, it's not about me. Uh, you know, I just had some overlooks tonight and I took them and I made them. And, you know, it worked out for us. But at the end of the day, I scored 16 or zero points. Uh, all I worry about is winning, like make winning plays. You know, I try to get my steals up, get my deep rebounds up, just the little things. Uh, but tonight the ball was just going in for me, and, you know, I'm grateful for that. And then, David, you played with Cam for, for two years. What were just kind of the emotions of seeing him again and, and playing against him? Um, I mean, it's weird. Like you said, I played with him for, for two years. Uh, you know, I had some good times and some bad times. But, you know, when you're teammates, you go through a lot of things together. Uh, you basically become like brothers, um, you know, for Cam, shout out to him. He did well. Uh, they got the best of us tonight. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. David, as a veteran on this team, what are what do you suggest with these guys as you like to improve moving forward? Sorry, say that one more time. As a veteran on this team, what are some things you'll stress and talk to the guys about as you like to improve as the season goes on? Um. I feel like rebounding, just team rebounding. Uh, everybody got help boxing out and, you know, come down, uh, get rebounds. Uh, and starting off the game uh, with energy. And then uh, I feel like we got to approach every game like, like it's a championship game. Uh, we can't come out like two days ago. Uh, just, you know, having that mindset of, you know, giving it your all every single night. Doug, Coach has talked about how much he's challenged his point guards. Just how much of a adjustment has it been coming to K-State and becoming the point guard? Uh, it's been a huge adjustment. You know, a lot is being asked for me, you know, from the point guard point of view. You know, I may not, I may not have these type of nights every night, but that don't mean, you know, I still can't impact the game. You know, Coach Tang is big on the little things, so that's why you see me, you know, try to be a defensive pass and just try to do the little things because that impact winning as well. David, over these next few days before you guys return to the court uh, for a game, what's sort of the biggest message to the guys in terms of, I guess, keeping their head straight and, and making sure that this loss doesn't spiral to more? Um, I mean, it's, it's early in the season. Obviously, we want to win. Uh, we don't want to lose, especially at home. But we can't let one loss lead to another. Um, it happened. Uh, we got to take our, care of our bodies and, you know, be ready. Uh, to learn and get better uh, on practice, during practice on Saturday. Uh, on to the next thing. Anything else for these guys? Thank you, guys. Appreciate your time. Uh,
Ja. 